Hello, my third and fourth grade friends. I hope you guys are having a great time at home. And I know it's not the same as being in the art room, but I hope that you still take some time to do some art while you need breaks. It's a great stress relief. Um, be creative, have fun. I'm gonna show you a fun holiday project that we are gonna do today or whenever you have time this week. And we're gonna make these awesome jingle bells um, in kind of like a wintery scene, getting us ready for the holiday season. Okay, so I'll get a little bit closer. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the steps. At any point, you can um, take a break, pause it, come back to it. Things might need to dry, or you might just need a break and come back and fix it. You will upload your picture when you're finished in Google Classroom so that I can see it, um, just so I know that you're working hard at home. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so you should have all the supplies because I made a list and sent them out. So grab those if you haven't already, and then pause and come back. If you're ready to go with me, you are gonna want to take your blue piece of paper. If you do not have blue, use a different color. A-okay, you could use green, I, whatever color you have at home. Just try to find a colored piece of paper, okay? So we're gonna start with blue. You're gonna need that paintbrush and some white paint. If you don't have white paint, that is a-okay too. You could use a white crayon. You could go out to your um, sidewalk chalk if you have some and grab some white sidewalk chalk. Um, but something that you can draw with on white. White crayon, paint, anything you got. Colored pencil. I'm gonna use a brush with some paint on it to start. So we are going to start to make those lines kind of like that look like those snowy branches, okay? So I'm gonna show steps along the way, so don't worry. I'm gonna st just start by making some kind of lines eh, that kind of go off my page, okay? Now, I'm gonna to start to make the branches, and the branches are gonna go down, and they can be short, they can be long, and they're made to look kind of like brush strokes, so don't worry too much if they're not perfect, because branches aren't exactly perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna have them go down, down, down. And I start my next one. Maybe some are a little thicker, some are a little thinner, A-okay. And I'm gonna quickly do the other ones. You take as much time as you need. All right, so I got my snowy branches. Now I'm gonna take the end of my brush. Now make sure if you're working on a really nice table, first of all, you should probably cover it so you don't get paint everywhere. Um, and I always like to cover it anyway with no matter what I'm working on because sometimes Sharpies or markers bleed through and it protects the table. So put something underneath so it's not crazy gonna get splattered everywhere here, okay? White brush, paint. You're gonna hold it really close to your um, drawing that you just did. And you're gonna just take your finger and you're gonna kind of flick it to make it look like snow falling. Now, it's not going crazy because I don't have a ton of paint on here. And when I need a little bit more, I do a little bit more, but I get really close to my paper. And I don't need a whole lot. I just wanna give a little bit of that snowy effect. Okay? Now, while we're working on our bells, we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna grab a paper towel real quick. So we're gonna let our branches dry while we work on our snow bell or our jingle bells. So you should have some colored paper. This can be any colors you want your bells to be. I have red, yellow, and orange, but you could do blue, you could do purple, whatever you have at home, okay? You're gonna you're done with paint, so you can get the paint out of your way. Now I like to find something that I can easily trace my circles with, and this is great because I can even do a bigger bell and then I can flip it over to the other end and do a smaller bell. So if you want all of them to be the same, that's okay too. So I'm just gonna start to trace my circles for my bells. And the paper probably isn't super big that you have at home, so you probably only need like three or four bells depending on what size you're doing. Maybe you could do more, totally up to you. So I've got them traced and now I am going to before I cut them out, I'm gonna grab that black Sharpie marker that I have, or if you just have a black regular marker, that's okay too. And first we are just gonna trace the circle shape. All right, so trace that circle shape. 
then right in the middle, we are gonna draw two lines that make it kind of rounded. We're gonna follow the shape, okay? So two lines that are kind of rounded. Now a bell at the top, we're gonna give a big rainbow arch and a little one, kind of like a little hook or where the hole would be. And then we're gonna make the hole of where the jingle, where the sound comes out. So it's just kind of like an X shape. And then I kind of, X, like add a little circle to the top of my X. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do that to my other shapes. So I first start with that tracing. Follow the shape of your circle. In the middle, draw those two lines. Then that X shape. And then I just kind of put a little circle at the top. So it looks like that. And then I need my hook at the top. Rainbow arch, rainbow arch. Now I'm only gonna do two just for the sake of time, but like I said, you fill your page. Okay, now before we cut them out, we're gonna talk about shadows and we're gonna talk about um, having lights and darks. Okay, so one side, if you look back at my example, one side of my bell is darker and the other side is lighter. So we always know that the lighter side is where the light is shining, where it's coming on of it. And the darker side is where the light is not on it. So it creates kind of like a shadow effect. So we wanna have those lights and darks to make our bell start to look a little bit more realistic, which is fun. Okay, so if you have sidewalk chalk at home, or if you have chalk pastels, even better, um, if you don't, you could use colored pencils, black and white. You could even use do a crayon, black and white crayons. So whatever you have at home for the shadow part. I have chalk pastels, so I'm just gonna use these, but like I said, sidewalk chalk, um, crayons, colored pencil, anything will work. Now, I'm gonna follow the shape of my ball. So on one side, I'm going to just gently kind of color one half. Okay, now I'm gonna use my finger since I'm using chalk. That will be a little bit harder to do with crayon and colored pencil. You'll just have to go a little bit lighter since you'll be able to use your finger to blend. And I'm just gonna soften that line that I created. Now if I go outside the line, that is okay because we're gonna eventually cut these out, okay? Now I'm gonna take my lighter crayon. Now look, my finger is messy, right? But if I only use one finger to blend black and I use a different finger to do white, then I'm not gonna create a bunch of mess everywhere okay so try to keep your fingers separate and clean so I'm gonna add a little bit of white and now I'm gonna use my clean finger really none of my fingers are clean because I've been doing a lot of videos today so they're all a little bit messy but okay here's the my light side and my dark side so that bell is pretty much finished I'm gonna set that down now I'm gonna do the same thing now maybe this side time this side's the darker side using that finger blend it using the other side as my light side blend it okay now I cut them out so once I add my shadows lights and dark I'm gonna carefully cut them out and like I said you do more I'm only gonna do two Take my time cutting it out, and now I've got my first bell out. I'm gonna cut out my second one. Now, my one I just did is still super wet, my white paper. So I would probably wait to do this next um, part until it is dry. So just wait on this next part till your piece is dry. So if it's dry enough in parts, then you can go ahead and glue it out. So since I, I can see where my really wet parts are, so I'm gonna avoid it. But if you need more drying time, just let it dry. All right, now we flip over our bells, add that glue. And you can just decide where you wanna put them. And they, don't, they can go in any direction.
and since I have two different sizes, I'm gonna kind of think about that. Maybe I don't put all of my big ones on one side, I kind of balance it out. So now I've stuck on my two jingle bells, and now we have to add the ribbon. So any ribbon you have at home, this is gonna create kind of like a 3D effect too. So if you look at my paper this way, see the ribbons actually stick off of my page, which adds a different element, which is super fun. So any ribbon, string, yarn, anything you have will do. You're going to cut some pieces. They can be any colors. And I just did a simple knot. So I just took my ribbon and I made a simple knot in the middle. And then this is where I'm gonna stick it on my paper. Now, if you have um, glue stick, depending on what kind of material you use, glue stick might not be the best. So you might need to use like Elmer's school glue or if you have hot glue and your mom doesn't mind, she can hot glue those parts on, depending on what you kind of ribbon you pick, okay? This is a little bit thicker, so um, I actually hot glued mine on um, just because my ribbon was a little bit thicker, but you use what you have at home, okay? Now, I did not even do this on my example, but we all know that Mrs. Mattingly loves things that sparkle and we love glitter, and if your mom loves glitter too, which I know not many people do, but if you do and you have it and you wanna add that extra little touch, you can sprinkle some glitter on to your bells. You could either do it on the background or you could add a little to the bells. So I just use glue stick. I sprinkle a little bit of glitter, not a ton. And again, this is just optional don't get mad at me, parents. And I don't even have my little, no, oh, where's my container? I like to either find a trash can or something I can dump the extra in so it doesn't make that mess. I shake it off. And I don't even know if you can see the extra sparkle. But now it just sparkles a little bit more, which is perfect for the holidays. All right, guys, Jingle Bells, you will have a new project posted next Wednesday, so you have all week to work on this. Please upload your pictures when you're finished. I'd love to see them on Google Classroom. And that is it for today. See you next time, friends. Have fun.